Hi, I'm Ron Murray and we're going to cover how to rid your puppy of fleas on their head. So when you start thinking about getting rid of fleas that may be on your puppy, we have to think about doing a bath and then preventive measures afterwards. So what we're going to do is we're going to cover and show you how to give your puppy a proper bath to get rid of those fleas and then afterwards different types of preventive measures that you want to do to make sure that the fleas are absolutely gone and never coming back. When giving your puppy a bath, make sure that the water is nice and warm. You don't want it too hot and you don't want it too cold. You're going to want to get the puppy's head completely covered in water all the way down to the back side of their body. When you get ready to apply the shampoo, make sure you put it in your hands first, get it good and lathered up. Otherwise, if you're trying to put it right on top of the puppy, you're going to be able to, you, you might possibly put it in their eyes or put it in places that you don't want it to. So put some in your hands, start lathering that puppy up from the top, work it way down. You can actually go across the tops of the ears. You never want to go inside the ears though or up underneath the, the, the bottom of the mouth. We don't want to have any cross-contamination with the puppy. Once you get your puppy all lathered up ready for, and ready for rinse, you're going to want to, again, go through with a nice warm water and really rinse that puppy off. We want no shampoo residue left on the puppy whatsoever. Any kind of shampoo left on the puppy can cause an irritant and your puppy will end up being real itchy and you'll think that you didn't get rid of the problem when actually you did, but now you have another problem on your hands. All right, so when you get ready to dry your puppy, don't use a blow dryer in the very beginning. It's really good to get them used to the fact that they just got a bath, which is exciting to begin with. Use a towel, hand dry them, make a game of it, come across the top of their head, all over the puppy, really get them into it where they're enjoying the whole bath situation. Later on down the road, you can start using drying kennels and that sort of stuff if you're gonna take your dog to the groomer, but we really want them to make sure that they're really comfortable with the whole bath process that just took place. All right, so we gave him a bath, we got him good and dry. Now we need to think about what we're gonna do for preventive measures and how in case if we miss some of the fleas. There's a lot of different products that are out there available. Different things across the board. Uh, find out what works good for you, what, good, what you and your veterinarian both like. There's things that are good for up to 30 days, up to six months, and there's even some home remedies out there that you can do. A lot of those home remedies that you do, they're gonna last only for about two or three days, so you're gonna be applying them on a regular basis. One of the things to think about as you go, for, go forward with using any over-the-counter medications, there's actually a pesticide in those that you're actually putting on your puppy to help kill those fleas and ticks that they may have already got. So just kind of make sure that you feel comfortable with whatever you're using with the puppy. <laughs>